The Hare Krishnas are pretty well known for our public singing and dancing and you might be a little curious as to what this is all about. So this is actually a very ancient uh, spiritual practice called Kirtan. And Kirtan is a Sanskrit word which means coming together collectively to glorify God through chanting his holy names. So in order for something to be Kirtan, any name of God can be used. And the Hare Krishnas are chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, which means the great prayer for deliverance. And it's composed of three very potent and very all-encompassing names of God, Hare, Krishna, and Rama. So Hare refers to the feminine aspect of God. Krishna refers to the all-attractive, and Ram refers to the reservoir of all pleasure or happiness. And the complete meaning of the mantra is a prayer. O oh Lord, O oh energy of the Lord, please engage me in your service. As George Harrison from the Beatles said, the proof of the pudding is in the tasting. And that was his reference to kirtan. So actually, in order for you to experience the, the bliss that we're talking about, one just has to try it for themselves. And it's very easy. You can do it um, alone or with 100,000 people. You can do it for one minute, you can do it for 24 hours. You can do it with any variety of instruments that you like or to any genre of music. It's for everybody. And the thing that I love so much about Kirtan is that it can be a very meditative, reflective experience um, where I'm just sitting and listening to the sound, um, hearing the voices of others. and. Um, or it can get very loud and ecstatic and we'll all get up and start dancing together um, and it's a very joyful celebratory experience so it's actually been the most unifying and um, the most ecstatic um, spiritual practice that I've ever been a part of.